Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this particular video, I'm going to be showing a solution for sorting out RFI on Microtech Gaffel and Neumann microphones. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is show a solution for sorting out radio interference or fixing the RFI issues on certain Neumann and Geffel microphones. Now, this is only one particular solution. It may or may not work, but I tend to find that it, this has worked for me on a number of occasions anyway. And I've had a little look around the internet and it seems that this solution works for a lot of other people as well. So I'm hoping that, yeah, this might help people. So basically what it is, this problem of RFI between the Geffels and the Neumanns actually comes about due to grounding or earthing issues between the cable and the microphone. So basically what this solution does, it doesn't touch the microphone, it just, it's just a modification to the cable. So very quickly what you do, you just take pin one on the, on the end that goes into the microphone. So that's the female end of the XLR. You take pin one, you disconnect pin one, and then what you do, you then reconnect that to the ground of the actual XLR itself. And then after you've done that, it tends to knock out all the RFI. Now, as a for instance, I'm on an M71 right now, which is a Geffel, which is very susceptible to RFI. And right now, as you can hear, there's nothing there. And that's because I've actually got this doctored or modified cable actually on it right now. So what I'm going to do just to show what the differences are, I'll do a couple of silence tests. Well, not necessarily silence. I'll just do some tests where I'm not talking. And then what we'll do... I'll flip between a modified cable and an unmodified cable and we can hear what the difference is and just so that we kind of get a really good indication of that difference what I'll then do I'll repeat the test again and then what I'll do I'll put the gain really high so that we can definitely hear exactly what's in the background and how much of it gets knocked out between the two different cables. Thompson Twins and Holmey now. Adrian asked me ages ago to try and squeeze that one in from so Adrian Hart done that. Okay, so as you've seen there, there was a massive difference between the two cables. One was definitely picking up RFI and then the other one wasn't. So hopefully this has been really interesting for people and hopefully it'll help sort people out who have got issues with RFI. And if there's been a couple of knocks during this video, what it is, I've been banging on the side of a pop shield here. So hopefully that didn't come through too badly. Anyway, thanks very much for watching this video. Take care. Goodbye now.